Unfortunately, not every day is cut out for outdoor activity. Some days are best spent in a nice cozy cabin. And here we are. Let's get this place opened up, head in, light the wood stove and get comfortable. There we go, this place should be warm in no time. We're gonna head out, chip some ice off the rain barrel to get some water, and fire up the generator so we have some lights. All right, we're all settled in and cozy. Wood stove's going, nice and warm, we got our lights. Here's the bag we're gonna be doing today. It's uh, the beginner bag, as I mentioned, from goldnuggetsales.com. Uh, packed in your typical coffee bag. This one's nice and thick. A really nice feature that I like is uh, he's got the clear windows on the back of his bag. Always cool. My kids love to shake these up and try and find the gold before you even pan it. Other than that, everything arrives safe and sound. You can see I've got uh, some other dirts from Mike that we're going to be doing later. But uh, let's get into this beginner bag and see how much it weighs. And here's our detailed pay dirt description. Uh, Gold Nugget Sales does a fantastic job of describing all the pay dirts on their website. The bike with the training wheels on the label was a really, really nice touch. It says that it's made to be easy for the beginning gold panner with larger size gold, natural beach sands, and I'm going to go ahead and assume there's probably not a lot of magnetics or heavy black sand in here. It also says that for international customers, they reduce the amount of actual dirt to save on shipping. Now, me being in Canada, I doubt that they did that. Let's go ahead and find out. All right. Now, I know you guys can't read those numbers very well, but we are teared out to zero ounces. Uh, we should have 15 ounces of dirt here, unless uh, he reduced it for international shipment. I don't think he did based on how the weight feels in, you know, of the bag, but let's just take a look, see that we got our 15. And just like that, 15.13 ounces. So we are good to go. Let's move on to classification. So the bag comes uh, heat sealed and zip locked. So we'll, we'll crack this puppy open and have a look. Looks like both seals were intact. And let's take a look down in here. A few little uh, larger rocks, not a whole lot. So we will classify this. So for classification, we just have our uh, kitchen strainer here. I do have classifiers, but being that this is a beginner bag, I don't think we need to get too complicated with it. I will pour this in and uh, classify it and check for magnetics. The bag does have a gusset on the bottom, so you want to make sure that uh, everything's taken out of there. We will rinse that out later because uh, these are natural cons and they could contain some fine gold and we want to get it off. But let's take a quick look, see if there's any uh, magnetics in here, run our magnet through it. Very, very, very little magnetics. So we're just going to keep those in there. This should be a fairly easy pin. And let's separate into bigs and littles. Dusty stuff, but you would expect that from uh, beach sand. Dirt does tend to be dirty. And there you go. Bigs and littles just like that. All right. So we've got our uh, tub of water here. This is just an oil pan, uh, oil change pan. You can get these off Amazon or at your local Walmart, wherever, hardware store. I find they're really great for uh, doing pay dirts. And you can also go through your tailings later if so that's something you want to do. So we are going to add a little bit of jet dry. So what the jet dry does, uh, it's a surfactant, breaks the surface tension of the water, uh, especially if you have fine gold, keeps it from floating and uh, escaping your pan. Really straightforward stuff. You can use uh, Dawn dish soap if you want, if uh, that's all you have. Uh, I use jet dry because it doesn't suds up at all. And we're going to start with the bigs. So basic panning 101, we'll just throw all these bigs in there because there's not all that many of them that aside so a lot of there's two ways that you can pan so you get some water in your pan the first thing you have to do no matter which way you choose is you have to stratify your material what you're doing here is you tilt your gold pan forward and you're stratifying so that all of the gold falls to the bottom corner of the pan and then when you work it back you can look for gold now what you could do uh, what you would do if you were actually prospecting out in the wild is uh, you'd be turning around, you'd be using these riffles and you'd be panning that material off out the front 
and then working it back, stratifying it again, and repeat. However, uh, being that this is a pay dirt, what I like to do, and this is a good tip for beginners too, is stratify it, get your gold down into the uh, edge of the pan, then slowly work it back. And as you can see, boom, look at all that beautiful gold that just showed up. So what we're, we're going to do, grab our stuffer bottle. We're going to pick all that beautiful stuff up. Man, that's some nice chunky gold for that little tiny bit of bigs that we got there. That's awesome. I can see there's more in there. Now, because we did that, instead of dumping off into your pan, you just stratify again and roll it all back. Now, this is great for the reason this is great for beginners is, is your dirt stays in your pan. You, if you wanted to, you could do it a very small scoop at a time and repan the same scoop two or three times to make sure that you got it all. I know the first time I ever gold panned, especially a, a pay dirt. I was personally nervous that I'd be losing stuff. I think I panned that damn thing like 20 times. But honestly, once you get the hang of it, it's not so hard. And you can see all that beautiful gold showing up in the top. All right, so the process of doing the smalls is the same as the bigs. We're going to do maybe about that much at a time. Cir circle it back and see what we get. You will notice that I'm wearing uh, rubber gloves for this part. And the reason is now that we're into the finer stuff, that where the gold is finer, there's more of a risk of it floating away. And sticking your fingers anywhere in the water can uh, transfer some oils, which can cause your gold to float. So I'm not going to bore you guys watching me go through all of this, but uh, let's do it in fast motion and listen to a little bit of music.
All right. Well, that dirt was a load of fun. So one thing I forgot to mention earlier, you might have noticed me uh, using the uh, squirt bottle here. Really, really handy for whenever you separate the dirt that you that's not gold bearing anymore when you've stratified all your stuff to the front of your pan. Tilt your pan back, squirt the bottom off. Gives you a lot less material in your pan to deal with. So that being said, let's dump our snuffer bottle. We're going to see what we got. There was some fine gold in there. I was really surprised. It must be naturally occurring in the cons. But uh, wow, that was a lot of fun. And that is a lot of gold. So let's take a look. Get her up to the top of the pan. And one thing I forgot to mention, if you uh, start having issues with your gold walking back on you, just simply tilt your pan forward and tap it. You could do that right while you're panning too. And that concentrates all your gold right at the top where it belongs. So let's get this uh, cleaned up a little bit and we're going to get away and uh, burn off some of this water. We're going to get to the review part in a minute, but uh, I'm really looking, that was a really fun bag. Um, I have a bag of Mike's Benson, Benson Beach. This is a one gram bag. And I'm working my way up to his uh, double diamond. I'm told it's really, really difficult. So really, really looking forward to that. And we just ordered a three gram bag of his Alaskan Golden Garnets. And it's going to have a one gram nugget in. So I'm super, super stoked for that. But uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's finish enjoying this bag. So we're going to take our snuffer here. It's got uh, still got quite a bit of water in it. Dump it into our little frying pan here with all of our gold. Make sure we don't have anything stuck in there. Give that a quick squirt just in case. And I always like to squirt out the threads in my snuffer bottle because sometimes uh, fine gold really likes to hide in there. So how am I going to dry this out? Well, being that we're at the cabin, the nice thing is uh, we're going to use my favorite method. Actually, you know what? First, let's uh, snuffer some of this water out of here. We don't need all of that in there because we're going to have to evaporate this off before we can get an accurate weight, obviously. So I'll grab my snuffer bottle, give her a good squeeze. There's one and two. So that took a bunch of water out. We're going to bring over our camp stove, light it up, and burn this water off. Okay, well, I'm a noob when it comes to this video stuff. I didn't realize that my scale numbers wouldn't show up on the camera. So I took a quick snapshot with my phone. We are at uh, zero grams. We're teared out. We're promised half a gram. Gold Nugget Sales has a great reputation, so I'm sure they're, that we're going to get it. And it's a beginner, so I know I didn't miss any. So let's see how we pan out here. 0.552 grams. That's awesome. That's uh, above our promised weight. Let's get a snapshot of that with the phone and uh, head to the review. And just before that, here's a look at some of that awesome chunky gold underneath our USB microscope. Doesn't that stuff look cool? Let's start with our ROI. The cost of this dirt was $37.95. We recovered 0.552 grams of gold, which gives us a total gold value of $34.60. That makes our total ROI 91.2%, which is absolutely awesome for a pay dirt vendor. Keep in mind that this doesn't include shipping. I don't include shipping in my uh, ROIs, only because A, I'm from Canada and I have to have it shipped up from the States, and B, uh, I often order multiple bags at a time, so it's hard to attribute a shipping rate to just one bag. So it's really up to you to decide whether or not the shipping was worth it. I will say that Gold Nugget sales shipping was very, very reasonable. It was $30 US for four bags of dirt. So all in all, this stuff is all things country approved. It was a ton of fun. Uh, gold in both classifications. And I can't wait to tuck into the rest of the dirts I got from Gold Nugget sales. We'll catch you guys on the next one when we do some of those bags. Cheers. Anyone interested in a grilled cheese sandwich?